Hey, what's up guys? Ben here. Welcome back to another RDR2 video. Uh, we just ran into a Skinner ambush and pre -walk. Okay, oh. Not my, my controller wasn't working. Uh, one of our hired guns died. He was a nice guy, but uh... Oh, uncle? Does plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think, just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Now, that is plain unfair. You got it, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Oh, I thought he was going to talk about Lumbago. Which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well... First thing it says, the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless and you want to dig a six-foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We got to get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. Oh. And there's just no rain? Okay.
Oh. And I think that's everything. Yo, that's actually a pog house. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. And obscene amounts of debt. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you, and that is I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. That's Charles walking out. Where am I? Oh, I'm here. Look at me. So fancy. Oh, you should uh, really get your beard cut, John. A little too much uh, facial hair oh, there. Oh, I thought you was... Where the hell... Oh, near Jerusalem. How did I not hammer them in with 80% accuracy? I definitely hit. Did I just have to spam? Is that what you're talking about? Give me a second. I just like you know what? I I I I don't I don't I don't, I don't care I I'm just gonna I'm I'm gonna replay that like between between episodes I I really can't be bothered all right oh god my horse needs stuff keep going girl you're okay. This, uh, no, whatever. Uncle, just one time, I hope to find you working. Just once, quick favor for John thing. Marston. No, well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin so that when you're old and facing death, I can be some. Two penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. Well, the only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so, so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but... They taste awful. I don't like goats. 
And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But beef's good. But any livestock, Dude, you're gonna something. need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut oh, well, just like I suppose cows. sheep are also this good. This is the industrial I mean, age. Mutton's Lumber pretty nice. all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. I can't move like I used to. Then I never was that oh. fast. Convenient fence break. In the black water. Let's go. Now, this fella probably saw you, thought, here's some corn husk idiot, some country rube doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse, and I'm going to rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I got to respect him for it, because if I saw you walk into my lumberyard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Uh, I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate, and some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Oh, charm. And that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Oh, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. <laughs> Just wait right Shit. there for me. Black's uncle's just gonna magically teleport. See, look, he's already riding at top speed. So, yeah, so what, where were we? You like it too. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? Oh, I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many Scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's uh, but it, it's great seeing you again, Al. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been a sir. Pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we gonna pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you. And David Geddes likes now, you. I, I, but I, this man <laughs> is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Ooh, hey. it's Sadie. Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing, and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. <laughs> Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. Okay then, okay. All right, the Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is round those parts. Split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him. Hold up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Hey, so who is this bounty? 
Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Del Lobos? Yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. New Austin? Oh, Where's that? Mostly Mexicans? Some of them. But some is Californios. And some are regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly. Real friendly. Oh, yeah. Ugh, it's a bad situation down there. Burnings, killings, you name it. I know something of that. And not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild country. Sounds like he needs all the help he can get. Maybe drop in on him sometime. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about him. Got hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. Can we go now? So, back to what you were saying. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, all the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Unlikely. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You Dude, the something? Skinner brothers are like I built my third or eight house. young masters you. in cultivation you novels. You do a no. little blow to them and they all come crashing down. That was the O'Driscolls until we eliminated hey, them. Put it up and uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid though. Real good and sturdy. Woo. John Mars has got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I oh, try right here. not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. You search that barn. I'll take the Oh, this is this barn? I see what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick down the door and I'm going to rush all the way down so he can't ambush me. Ah, yeah, see, this is what I mean by he can't ambush me. You got him? Oh. I think so. That he just tried to kill me. Was the about right. most anticlimactic yeah, fight him. I've ever had. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. Dude, that guy was like a weak old man. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rogues. Rogues? It's uh, different there now. Oh, just follow Sadie. That hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. Oh. Easy. Okay. Cross up here. Come on. How much will you pay us is the question. This place still gives me the creeps. Hit your horse up here. Ugh, and I don't even clean the place. The front what kind me, of you? is that? Get them ready for you. Come on! I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch! Two hundred! Three hundred for her head! Be quiet! Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, that was a we very got I don't Cortez. think that's how you're supposed to negotiate. Sure did. 
well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Dude, this guy's talking like a third rate Okay, okay, you know, whatever you say, man. Until my boys arrive and we... Never mind, I think he might be a second rate villain. <laughs> you can get him out of here. I don't like this extended Sorry. cut scene. If he escapes, he's a second rate villain. If he if he Last just gets taken and hanged and we get the bounty, like he's this, third rate. They can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> I think he's a second rate villain the way he's laughing. And the way that time is passing. Uh oh, haha, <laughs> ah, stuff's happening, ain't it? Ooh, yeah, he's waiting for someone. Something, someone. Did you, uh, imagine their entire gang just rides up. Oh, uh, goody. I had to say that, didn't I? You know, you guys are all gonna get oh, shot. Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. I love Spanish people's accents, but I really can't. I, I mean, I love these guys as well. They're giving me like free XP. Don't be a dumb bastard. This is a good town now. Three. Let them have it, boys. What was that? Come on! The jail! The jail! They blew my jail apart! He's gone! He's gone! Uh, well... Whoops. At least I didn't break mid-battle. Hell, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another fifty dollars besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Mount up. Great, we're getting into a gang war now. I mean, You're a good nothing we have to face against the Driscolls. He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, yes we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself. One second.
All righty. To go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. Dude, he won't pay us. We're going to bring him to his goddamn gang and he's just going to be like, "Haha, thanks for the thanks for the free ride." And you're dead now. I just said it was One sec. An odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Come on, sure. John, it's money. No, I don't know. Usually, if I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster. <laughs> my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Okay, one second. I gotta finish my food. Okay. Hold up. Down there. Oh. Fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Here? Yeah. Up here. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. This? We need to take a good look at him before we do it. Wait, this? What is this? I don't know why this is a water mill. Or is it because of like the tiny river that used to flow through here? Or maybe. Oh, am I sniping them? Ooh, I love a good sniping. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them? Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. You better not go in there shouting, you sure Sadie. You seem like the Just type of person to right. do that. This is my shit. I mean, look, if you go in shouting, that's told. fine. As long as you're going in guns blazing as well. You better not shout and not do anything, all right? If you shout and go in guns blazing, that's perfectly fine. If you don't shout at all, well, you better shout, all right? This entrance has to be cool.
What the bloody hell? Shoot, John. Aim properly. Oh, so basically the uh, you have to wait for it to stabilize before it, you can do accurate shooting. What the? John, shoot, you stupid! Dude, he got in one shot. All oh, right, I punched him once and he got knocked out. Okay, well it's not my problem. John, get down here. Whoop! Oh, that was okay. Well, I already used health items. It's fine, but okay. Whatever you say. What? What are you doing, John? Shoot! What are you doing, John? What was that aim? What was that negative aim? Make him turn around. Don't kill him, just spare him. You want to die right now, Cortez? <laughs> Dude, that nearly killed him. I swear, John's. Oh, shut up! Oh, yeah, good. Oh. Whoa, my God! Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna break mid fucking battle. Yeah, just. You know, by this time, someone's rushed my position and I'm dead. Why are you not using your other one? Uh oh yeah, I have Kentucky Boy Bond. 
Jesus Christ. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Ooh. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Look at me. I am a real rancher now. It's my show, remember? You do the heavy lifting. Oh, yeah, you had to walk over and then back. John, proper procedures. Remember? It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You're, you're a dead woman. And you're a dead man. But the lobos will not forgive this. Dude, say you ride faster, for God's sake. You can't even do what I can do. Wrong, wrong, wrong text, say. We will kill you, you, and anyone who is close to you. I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I that was awful go, quick, please. Switch. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Oh, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse. About to be taken to San Anita hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Hey, Ramon, girl. I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister. Cool. $5,000! Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't gonna find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman! Damn you! Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you! You should have took the money. You should have taken it! Okay, look, look, look. I would really love to say your secondary villains in Swiss Gate, but, like, the words you're saying are making me downgrade you back to a third. Alright. If you manage to escape again, I'll put you in second rate for good, but right now, right now, you ain't nothing. Back again. Looks like. Let's just finish this. Big mistake. Real big Blunder, mistake. big mistake. I'll see you again. It was on now. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? It needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver them. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> no, you won't. Uh, if you do, though, well. Thanks for this, John. All right, look. Uh, no matter what you do, though, me. you ain't you ain't getting up there. All right? Because fact of the matter is, Mike is the first-rate villain. You aren't. There's only one first-rate villain in a storybook. Money book. for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. Old Rope? Wait, why does she want Old Rope? Is that her horse's name? Or does she want Old Rope? Dude, this isn't like West of Loathing, man. Old Rope doesn't get stronger. <laughs> it gets weaker. It's just gonna crumble when you touch it. Oh, hey, is that the barn? Are those sheep? No, they ain't. They're rocks. Of course they're bloody rocks. 19, and we paid one pity. Yeah, that was the oopsie. Uncle! 
Uncle! Uncle! How much time do I have left? Enough. Was your oh, today. Uncle's bad day. Money. What happened, Think? Uncle? You call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. A house, a barn. Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we brought our four tack to cat head. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then all hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink about it. This seems like a great day. Doesn't seem very long. What's got at sea we spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives? What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives? And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. Did you just throw that bottle and the bottle survived? Bustle, bustle, drink about and let us marry be. Our can is full, let's fight it out and then our hands to see. Yeah! <laughs> John! Get out here! Oh, are the Skinners here? Oh, never mind. He's Just fine. Let me sleep. Get out here now! Are the Del Lobos here? How'd they find us? That man will be fine. No, he won't. Skinners. You think? Are you telling me the Skinners just came here and took Uncle, but well, didn't burn down no the entire house? What choice do we have? None. We just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. Wait, they didn't burn down the entire place? Okay, either they are like third-rate villain-level arrogant, or they are just like they just don't know how to start fires. I'm betting on the first one. They're like, we can defeat them and then we'll burn their house while they're in it. And they're awake. So they'll scream. Something like that. Up here. You see that? Ooh, this. Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards the tall trees. Come on. Oh, that is blood. A little bit of blood. John, look. We should agree on something. If it's really bad, this might not be about saving it. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus, you mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scalp, but it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already, with only hurt to come. We get him, and we see, okay? We'll make it his... I got a health care that's like well, if we can. But it may be we have to decide. Okay? Okay. Did you hear something? Ooh, yeah. yeah, you guys can't you hear that. Saw us coming? I don't know. Guess we'll soon find out. You coming? We'll be better off going on on foot. Oh, yeah, okay. that, probably. Leave the horses in the trees there. Just follow the leader. Stay. Oh, this is why we have the bow to sneak in quiet, right? To the trees. Come on. Are those? Those are people. Wait, are they skinners? Oh, they are. 
Up there, to the right. Two skinners. Lookouts? Probably. Take one. I'll take the other. They're down. Move. for us. Uncle should be close. He better be. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. Feel slightly more assured. Hold. Patrol to our left. Shh. What the? So if one of them, if, if two of them start looking Hold away, it. easy, easy. If they come from the ranch, they'll come this way. We should have burned it while they slept. The burning's better if they're awake for it. What the? Oh my God! What are you doing? I'm trying. See what I mean? Oh my god. He was talking about Uncle. He's alive. Mm. Come on. That's it. The patrol's taken care of. <laughs> they were looking for something. Us, most likely. Come on. Let's find where they're holding him. That was so easy. You can actually dead eye with bow. I didn't even know that. I just wanted to try. In worst case scenario, you just restart the mission. Come on. Hold up. That you is hear there. That? Yeah. Wagon there. It's dragging someone. Is it Uncle? No. Okay. Some other poor bastard. Let's follow. Might lead us to the camp. Stay with it. Be close. Let's take him down before he gets into the rest. He goes into camp and he'll all go this way. Okay. Let's go. Oh, I wrong think guy. I see something. Uh huh. That was the point where we stopped blasting. Yeah, that right. must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder. Take a look. <sighs> Hang. What? In there, old man. Okay. Okay. I can't see much through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. I need binoculars to survey the camp. Oh, this is so. Oh, I. Oh, that's so hard to see. I. Oh. John. What do you want me to say? Nothing yet. Oh. Oh. My God. We gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? I don't care. Come on. Oh. 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 Charles. All right, gents. The surprise is over. The good gents.
They came for him! Just that fella! Oh, 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 oh. What have they done to you? Oh, gotta uh. get you down. Okay, we've got some time. Let's get Uncle! Well, maybe if you'd stop reloading, John. Oh, give me a second. Don't worry. He's only burning. Everything will be fine. You're okay, old man. I look okay. You look awful. You'll be okay. Those bastards. We got it. Ooh, that back don't look nice. Uh, John, maybe watch your back just in case there's more of them. Also, stop holding one gun. Oh, yeah. Got him? Because here come the rest of them. There's more of them. Cover you. Come on. I got it. Oh, man. Watch yourself. Seriously? You know what? I'm going to cancel this mission. And, uh, I will do it next video. Alright? Bad continuing, but it's been 50 minutes. I'm not doing this. Bye.